Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston present Space Patrol. High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol. In today's transcribed Space Patrol adventure, Buzz and Happy are in the frozen polar region of Planet X. Pursuing Prince Baccarati into the shaft of an injuria mine, they're unaware of a huge figure lurking behind a shoulder of rock. Baccarati man, go in here. I hear them downstairs. You can come away, sir. I'm not talking to you. You just quietly pretend. I'm sure it's just having a sunny passage. Or... Hey, what's the matter? Somebody's got me. It's lifting me off the ground. Mm. Giant native. Crushing my chest. Mm. I'll give him a blast with my rake. Mm. Why, you big fuzzy gorilla. Oh. Oh. Finish them off, Renu. Finish them. We'll return in just a moment with today's exciting Space Patrol adventure on the ice cap of Planet X. Someone new will come aboard Commander Corey's rocket ship. Someone new will enter the pilot's compartment and take over the controls of the Commander's great space rocket Terra 4. And that someone can be you. Yes, you may be the lucky space patroller who wins the rocket ship Terra 4 for your own clubhouse. A huge rocket clubhouse and $1,500 cash. That's what you can win as first prize in the amazing Name the Planet contest. And here it comes, pulled along by an honest-to-goodness full-size motor truck. A giant silver and scarlet space rocket Terra 4. What a rocket! Length. A terrific 35 feet, big as an airplane. Weight, a gigantic 10,000 pounds. Equipment, specially outfitted as a clubhouse on wheels. And what a clubhouse! It's got real bunks built in and lockers for space gear, electric lights, cooking equipment, just about everything you need for camping, hiking, sightseeing trips, any kind of adventure, any place you'd want to go in your rolling rocket clubhouse. And space patrollers, all it takes to send the giant great rocket clubhouse and the motor truck and $1,500 rolling toward you is one word. And that one word is a name for Planet X. A name for Planet X. That strange, mysterious new planet, 5,000 times bigger than Earth. The home of the cruel Prince Baccarati. But I'll tell you more about that in just a few moments and more about the 1,750 other terrific prizes you can win in the Name the Planet contest. And now, today's Space Patrol adventure on the ice cap of Planet X. Commander Corey at last has Prince Baccarati in a position where the evil ruler of Planet X can be compelled to liberate hundreds of human beings whom he is forced into virtual slavery. With Buzz holding a ray gun on the power-mad prince, Baccarati has reluctantly ordered a fleet of his ships to come to the polar cap to transport the captive natives to their homes farther south. From the ship, the commander is now supervising the evacuation by means of a short-range spacophone, while Cadet Happy guards Baccarati and his assistant, Dr. Malone. Corey to Carson, come in, please. Carson here, Commander. How many men are left to be evacuated? Uh, around 400, sir. They're mostly thugs. To help me. Can you handle them all right? Oh, I think so, sir. All right, Carson, notify me when the last man is aboard. Corey out. All happy? In an hour or so, we'll have every one of those natives down in the valley where the ships can pick them up. Well, what about Carson and the men from the other planets? Are, are they going with the natives, sir? They'll have to. And they'll be dropped off with a group of natives that are going farther south. Oh, you mean they'll live with the natives until our space patrol ships come to get them? Yes, we'll take care of that arrangement as soon as Baccarati's ships get all the natives safely home. You're taking quite a bit for granted, aren't you, Commander? You aren't counting on your men rescuing you, are you, Baccarati? Don't forget, this is an enormous planet, Commander. I control it. And there are just two of you. The nearest space patrol ship is millions of DUs away. 
When you give the order to cut off the defenses, they'll be here soon enough. Well, did it ever occur to you that my men might refuse to let the space patrol into Planet X? They might even defy my orders to keep from being invaded. I thought of that. But there are plenty of people on Planet X who hate you. They don't want to stay here, and when they get a chance to escape, they'll help. Don't worry about that. Sure, look what happened right here in your injurium mines. Even your own men wouldn't work. Carson calling Commander Corey, emergency. Corey here. Go ahead, Carson. We've lost one of our thugs, this big grano I told you about. Decided it was Baccarati's men who made it tough for his own people down in the mine. What do you mean, you lost him? Well, four or five big thugs jumped him just as we were getting aboard the mining cars. He broke away and ran toward the mine shaft. Shall I send some of my men after him? He's a thug and used to this cold climate. He'll stand a better chance here. Let him go. Yes, sir. Are all the natives in the cars now? Yes, sir. We're ready to shove off to the valley whenever you give the order, Commander. I'll be right out, Carson. Happy, put Baccarati back after him in the Langro and lock him up. Yes, sir. I'll be back as soon as the last car's gone down the grade. After locking Baccarati in the aft compartment, Happy returns to the controls to wait for Commander Corey. Meantime, Baccarati paces his narrow quarters and glares at Dr. Malenga. You're supposed to be a scientific genius, Dr. Malenga. Think of something. Get me out of this. I already have, Your Highness. Well, then let's hear it. But all this later, Dan. The last car is about to pull out now. A bunch of those big, stupid thoughts. And a few technicians. Corey's out there now. Excellent. When he comes back, we have a surprise for him. Well, what is it? When the commander searched this compartment for weapons, he overlooked something. The secret panel in the bulkhead. Look, Johannes. Mm -hmm, but there is nothing in it. I beg your pardon, Excellency. But there is this. Oh, just a metal cylinder. What good is it? It contains Zolarium 12, under pressure. An irritant gas. It should enable us to overpower Corey and the cadet and resume control of your ship. Splendid! Splendid! How does it work? Just press the small lever on the end. And when the gas effect out, too? If you point it directly at Corey and the cadet, and then cut it off, they'll get by far the worst of it. You'll have the advantage. It will be easy to grab their weapons and knock them out. Good. Uh, give me the cylinder. As an icy wind whistles bleakly through the mountains, a train of mining cars begins its journey down the grade to the valley several miles below. Commander Corey watches the last car round the curve, then returns to Baccarati's ship. As he closes the inner hatch, he turns the heat control of his thermo suit to zero. Oh, if I ever have to come to this part of Planet X again, I'll wear a space suit. Just think of those poor guys having to live up here month after month, digging in durium in this cold wow. Well, it's all over now, I hope. Get ready to blast off, Happy. I want to be up over the valley when Baccarati's ships get here to take the men away. All right, sir. Oh, can I take off this thermo suit? It's uh, pretty warm here in the ship. Better leave it on, Happy, just in case. If those ships start trouble and shoot us down, we'd better be dressed for this climate. Yes, sir. Uh, but would they dare shoot at Baccarati's ship? Put yourself in the place of the men who heard the face of phone message. Here was Prince Baccarati ordering more than a thousand slaves released and returned to their homes. Yeah. That would sound odd coming from Baccarati. You bet. They know something's up, but they don't know what. Still, his regular gang probably will carry out his orders without question. Mm -hmm. But suppose one of those ships is piloted by someone who wants to escape from Planet X. A captive pilot would do anything to get rid of Baccarati. Oh, he'd blast us out of the sky before we could warn him. Exactly. I'm going back aft and get Baccarati. It might be handy to have him near the space of when his men show up. And don't blast off till I get back. You're coming, Marigo. Get ready to rush them when I release the gas. Yes, Your Highness. All right, Baccarati. Come on up front. We're blasting off. Of course, Commander. Just as you say. <coughs> get his gun, Malengro. No, you don't. <coughs> I can't. Get the gun. Come on. We'll get out of the ship. Hurry. Well, hurry, Kenzie, to the airlock. Happy, stop him. Happy. Stop right where you are, Baccarati. Try and stop me, cadet. <coughs> hurry, Malengro. You're both blinded. But, Your Highness, we can't go outside. Will you come on? Goodbye, Corey. Highness, where can we go? We'll freeze to death. Into the first mine ship. Uh, it will be warmer then. They'll track us down, and we're unarmed. There's a spaceship hidden in a cave. If we can make that, we're safe. 
Uh, come on, into the shaft. Hurry before Cory sees us. Uh, put out of the wind, anyway. It's still cold. Uh, the finest. Look. A man, a monster. Back in the shaft. One big thought. He's coming toward us. Use the gas on him. I can't. I dump the cylinder jumping out of the ship. I'm. You come save me. Am I, uh, uh, who are you? Me, Granu, overseer. Granu make all thugs work hard. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Granu, of course. I've heard of your loyal service. Take Granu with you in Skysland. Granu work for you, always. Of course, Granu. But uh, there are two wicked men here. They are trying to harm me. They are bad men. Do you understand? Granu, uh, understand. You must stop them. Uh, press back against the wall of the shack. If they come in here, kill them. Kill? Yes, they're coming. Granu, don't let them get past you. Stop them. Or you will stay here forever. You must have gone into this shaft, Happy. Yes, sir. Oh, you were right about that gas wearing off. Sir. My eyes still smart, though. They're running through this shaft. They might be able to hear them stopping me. I'm in here, man. Shall we do anything more? This the I have to check, but I'm having a <coughs> Happy, what's the matter? Something's got me. It's lifting me off the ground. It's a giant frog. Treasure's my chest. I'll give him a blast with my rake. Why, you big fuzzy gorilla. <coughs> Finish them off, Ben. Finish them. We'll return to Space Patrol in just a moment. Look out! Clear the way! Here it comes! America's best-looking, best-riding bicycle, the Schwinn Varsity. A bike with three-speed gearship for double-fast pickup and two-wheel handbrakes for double-safe stopping. Yes, that's the bike 750 of you Space Patrollers are going to be riding because the second prize group in the great Name the Planet contest is 750 Schwinn Varsity Bikes. Gang, there just never was a contest like this before. A contest in which you have a chance to win a huge rocket clubhouse on wheels and 750 chances to win a Schwinn Bicycle. And gang, listen to what you've got a thousand chances to win. Third prize group, a thousand pieces of regulation space patrol equipment, 250 autosonic rifles, 250 outer space helmets, 250 Space Patrol emergency kits, and 250 stainless steel Space Patrol wristwatches. And remember, all it takes to win the Rocket Clubhouse or a Schwinn bike or one of the other big prizes is a name for Planet X. You just name that tremendous new world, 5,000 times bigger than Earth. Planet X, land of man-eating plants, enormous monsters, kingdom of the arch enemy of the Space Patrol. And gang, this is the easiest contest you've ever heard of. The contest in which everyone, yes, everyone can get a free prize. So be on the lookout, because in just a little while, I'm going to tell you how you can enter the exciting Name the Planet contest and get your free prize. And now, back to our Space Patrol adventure on the ice cap of Planet X. Fleeing into the shaft of the Endoria mines on the polar ice cap of Planet X, Baccarati and Malengro encountered Granu, a member of a race of shaggy giants that inhabit the Arctic regions of the remote planet. Knowing that Granu has been driven away by his fellow tribesmen as a traitor, Baccarati promised to help the abandoned native if he would attack Buzz and Happy when they entered the mine shaft. Granu, finish them! Finish them, I tell you! Finish? Yes, yes, kill them! Don't you understand? No. 
Thugs, not kill. What do you mean, thugs don't kill? Didn't your own tribe drive you away? Didn't they leave you here to die? Tribe, not kill, Granu. Oh, I thought you were going to obey my command. Granu, obey. I must tell Granu to stop men. Granu, do this. Now take me in sky sled. Take me where Granu can find food. Of all of those stubborn savages, your highness, let's get to that ship before we freeze to death. We might as well go in our own ship now. But first, I'll just relieve Corey and the cadet of their weapons. Granu, I'm with you. Granu worked hard for Highness. Granu make other men work too. Your usefulness is all right, Granu. Ever see a ray gun work? Ray gun? Yes. It works like this. <laughs> Granu liked that. Let Granu play with ray gun. It didn't phase him. Shoot again. <laughs> Granu wants to play. It worked all right. Just took a little longer to numb that primitive nervous system. What a monster. Well, maybe he did finish for you, Mr. Edgar, but just to make sure. What are you doing, Hannes? I'm turning the heat control on the thermo seat to zero. Lying here in the sub freezing temperature, they won't last 20 minutes. How about the sun? You were driving it on. You know what do I care what happens to this wooly barbarian? Whether he lives or not, he can't harm us. Can he? I suppose not, Your Highness. Well, then let's get going. I have some new way to do Now, if you turn on the space phone and contact my ship. Your Highness. Something's wrong here. Huh? Look, the, the space phone panel is smashed. Smashed? What? It is smashed. How did that happen? Uh, during my scuffle with the cadet, I must have pushed him into it after I shut the gas in his face. All the miserable luck. We don't contact those ships. They'll carry out the rescue after all. Perhaps we can intercept them. Uh, I got it. We'll let them pick out those slaves. We'll head for my castle and space up for another instruction.